Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to you all. My name is Dr. Ahmad Moizi bin Hilmi from School of Manufacturing Engineering, UNIMAP. I welcome to all my students that take subject EPT 315 Machine Component Design. Today, I am going to teach you about shaft. The topic shaft is taken from chapter 7, shaft and shaft components from book Mechanical Engineering Design. You can get the book from any bookstores. I encourage students to buy the book as it is beneficial to you. You may use the book throughout your career during your working time. Now students, the definition of a shaft is as follows. A shaft is a rotating member usually of circular cross section used to transmit power or motion. You can see in the picture here, picture here, the shaft is cylindrical and have an axis of rotation. Okay, so then the purpose of shaft is to provide the axis or of rotation or oscillation. You can see my pen here. It represents the the picture in here. Okay. Now the pen rotate like this. This is an axis of rotation. Also, also like this. Then this is another axis of rotation. And if counterclockwise, it's another axis of rotation. And you can see here the axis of rotation of a ball like this. Like I'm moving the ball now. It's an, it is an axis of rotation. Also, you can find the axis of rotation for a, a plate. Just like my mouse pad here, you can see if I rotate the plate here, it's also a practice axis of rotation. Yes, yeah, student, you can see here that shaft is applied to many things. This is a gear you have learned before, the gear has a shaft. This is a crankshaft. This is a pulley with a shaft in it. This is a flywheel. This also uses shaft. This is a sprocket that uses shaft. You can see this is why shaft are important because many things uses shaft. Okay, students. So you can see here is an axle. What is an axle? Axle is a non-rotating member that carries no torque and used to support rotating wheels, pulley, and light. Axle is not moving. Exactly, it's not rotating. You can see axle here when the the mechanism that rotates is rotate. The axle is not rotate, but it rather is support uh, the structure to be uh, to not become rotating okay you can find axle in cars okay you can find the most related to you that you have seen before throughout your life is in a car whether in is a toy car or a real car okay students you can see here is an automotive axle Automotive axle is not a true axle, but the term is a carryover from the horse and buggy era where the wheels are rotated on non-rotating members. What does it mean? It means that back in the uh, the era of horse, horse and buggy, the, the century before, uh, people refer this axle as an automotive axle, but this actually is not true axle. The meaning of axle is actually uh, the Things that are not rotate, but it only support the rotating members. Here, you can see the rotating members. Rotating members are here, 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 and here. These are the rotating members. Axle is not moving. You can see how can it move? It does. It has has uh, some mechanism here, some engine here. It is it's not moving. 
okay okay students this is an uh, also a definition of excel it is a non rotating machine element that used to support rotating machine elements like wheels pulley and etc this like i have explained to you in the previous slide topics to cover in shaft now here are the topics that i will cover in the shaft they are material selection geometric layout stress and strength static strength static strength deflection and rigidity bending deflection torsional deflection stock and bearing and shaft supported element shear deflection due to strenuous loading of short shaft and lastly is the vibration due to natural frequency okay see you in the next video